Sell Video Courses. With this particular approach, you're going to record videos based on scripts that you have written ahead of time. Each script covers a specific topic. When the videos are viewed in totality, your viewers will get the important information that they wanted to learn. You present these videos through a membership access area. In other words, these are not publicly available videos. You have to actually go to a specific website and use a login and password to access these videos. To get that login and password, your viewers have to pay a membership fee. You can charge them a one-time fee or a monthly recurring fee. Advantages The big advantages of selling video courses is that you get a passive income business. You only record the videos once, but you get paid that one-time membership fee or every time somebody renews their membership. Whatever the case may be, you do the work once and get paid many times over. Also, when you offer videos, they're more personable than books. Let's get one thing clear. It takes a lot of effort to read. You have to use your imagination read between the lines, and exert effort to understand the information. That's a lot of work. Video conveys a lot of information in a small space and in a short period of time. It is also very personable. When you look straight in the video, people can connect with your eyes. They can tell what your emotional range is based on the tone of your voice and your body language. Another key advantage of selling video courses is that you can get a lot of students if you use the right video course platform. Udemy is a very powerful and popular video coaching platform that covers most niches. There are already thousands of people signed up to Udemy. If your course shows up in Udemy, there are certain preview sections as well as a server's built-in search engine that people can use to find your course within the platform. By simply putting your stuff on Udemy, you can become visible to the students who already use that platform. Disadvantages The big disadvantage of video courses is that you might not cover the specific topics your viewers are interested in. It may well turn out that you covered 60% of the information they want to know, but what about the 40%? Also, there's a risk that the information you talk about in your videos tends to be general in orientation. Even though you're operating on an intermediate level of expertise or you're giving out intermediate level information, it still might be too general for your specific audience members. This might cut down on their interest or they might want to ask for a refund because you haven't exactly talked about what is most important to them. Finally, if you're going to be selling video courses on a platform like Udemy, it may well turn out that there are too many competitors specializing in the same niche that you are in. This might also cut down on your sales. Step-by-step -step guide. Step number one, avoid competition as much as possible. Look for your niche on Udemy and see how many existing direct competitors you have. If there's too much for comfort, find a sub-niche with fewer competitors. Step number two, invest in better copywriting. Look at what your competitors are already doing on Udemy. How do they describe themselves? What kind of headlines and descriptions do they use? Come up with something better. Use clickbait-worthy titles and descriptions. Come up with a description that is worth sharing. Now, if you don't have this skill set, you can hire veteran sales copywriters from places like Upwork or Fiverr to write these materials for you. Whatever the case may be, your stuff has to stand out compared to your competitors. Step number three, use catchier preview videos. A lot of Udemy videos and other video-based platforms have allowed course providers to post a preview video. Don't waste this opportunity. Get a special video shot that really does a great job advertising the benefits people will get when they sign up for your video course. Oftentimes, when it comes to video course platforms, you really only have one bite of the apple. Don't waste it. Use a very catchy, slick, well-produced preview video so you can get your message across loud and clear. Step number four over deliver and under promise you have to remember that udemy is quite saturated if you are offering coaching in any subject area that has decent demand levels don't be surprised if there are lots of people offering the same information how do you stand out how do you beat these people it's very simple over deliver and under promise when people sign up for your stuff give them so much value that they can't help but write amazing reviews about you Get them hyped about the value that you bring to the table that they can't help but get excited about the next course you're going to offer. You can do this by simply promising less than your competitors but delivering way more. In other words, you have to put your money where your mouth is. Step number five, use worksheets and other support materials that upsell your Kindle books. When people have signed up for your course, they will get support materials. Maybe these are worksheets or cheat sheets. Whatever the case may be, you should use these materials to upsell your Kindle books so these should have links to your author profile. You could also have links pointing to your scheduled webinars. Finally, maybe you could have a link for people to sign up on your mailing list. Use these worksheets on Udemy or any other video course platform to build up your brand and get sales. At the very least, 
Call people to action to share the word about your course. Step number six, create a course for all the sub-niches in your niche. For example, if your niche is winemaking, you can start out by starting a video course on Udemy on how to make one type of wine. After that, you can focus on another sub-niche like sparkling wine. Make a video course on that. Then after that, use dry wines or something else. By the time you're done, you should have covered all the sub-niches involved with wine. Do this regardless of the niche you are focused on. Maybe you're into animation, programming, or game design. Whatever the case may be, nail down the sub-niches by using the steps above. This will ensure that you have become a true expert within that niche. If a person is interested in that niche in whatever form, they will search for courses, and if they see your name over and over again, they start to create an association between your name and a certain field of expertise.